producers, I got asked the question. Damn it, ask again, Richie. What I'm gonna do? Keep saying ask. Hey. One of y'all, <laughs> one of y'all asked me, should you learn how to mix your own beats or should you send them off to an engineer? Well, let's go ahead and figure that out. Producers, a lot of you will go out there and you'll think that you need to get an engineer out the gate. There's a couple of reasons why you want to get an engineer for your beats. Initially, I think the main reason you want to get an engineer in the very beginning is sort of to bypass the process so that you can sell your beats. Now, you may be in a mindset that says, okay, I want to learn how to mix. I think it's part of my art and it is part of your art. Mixing is definitely an art form. It's not something that you need to outsource it's an art form because at the end of the day you got to think about it it's your music and you know how your music should sound you may hear a snare and be like i need it to snap more you may not even know what that means but you may need some more of that like yakage you may not even know what that means that's that's probably just west coast terms i'm sorry but you may need some more slap on that you may need a better mix with that snare that gives you a certain feeling or a certain attitude that you can't get accomplished simply by letting somebody else mix according to their technical aspects. Somebody else may hear my drums, Curtis King's drums, and say, that's distorted. That's not technically right. He needs to put a limiter on everything. And you know what? They may be right from a technical aspect. But when it comes to making music that you can feel, it can't be taught. That can only be felt. Now, there's certain basics that you can learn. I think it is very beneficial for you as a producer to learn the basics. I think it's important for you to understand what is a parametric equalizer? It's important for you to understand what's a great amount of reverb. Why do I need reverb? What does reverb actually do? I think it's important that you understand the placement of instruments. And sometimes when instruments become too busy or they get clashing or you don't know about certain frequencies that go against each other. I mean, it's important to learn all that. I think every producer, every beat maker don't know how to, how to do that. And I don't want to get into that topic because I got respect for both sides, but every producer needs to know at some point in time the basics of mixing. Now, some of the time that you go out to an engineer outside of just starting, say for instance, your business is, is booming. And say you cannot spend the time that you need to meticulously mix every part of the process. Say you're mashing out 10 beats a day. I don't know what kind of crack you own, but if you pushing out 10 beats a day, good for you, because that's not happening over here at curtiskingbeats.com. Um, if you're doing 10 beats a day, and you want to continue to push your business along and you want to send them out to one of these producers that actually are one of these engineers that actually mix beats cool send it out to them all of a sudden you can focus back on the business ring 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 the next day you get a call hello who is it the show engineer your beats is ready you be like damn dog thank you and then he sends them to you and now you got your beats and now you put them up on your website and you keep this fine old machine going i don't know what i want to say but this fine old machine continues to go because you've already built something that you can now manually, you know, kind of put on autopilot. But when it comes to if you need to learn, you don't need to do anything. Do I think you do? Do I think you do? I think you do. The hell? Should you? Yes. I think you should learn mixing. Stop trying to avoid the process. You should be excited about mixing. Mixing should be like, like, damn, I made this beautiful ass painting. I put all of these colors on it. Now I got to I got to find the right frame for it. I gotta fill in the colors of these shapes that I just made. This is like the fun part. Mixing can be a fun process. Yes, is it tedious? Of course. When you don't know what you're doing, it's overwhelming. But it's a part of your art form. It's almost like you, you, you have figured out how to make a beautiful painting. Now get it to the people in the clearest way possible. Why would you not want to do that? But if you need an engineer, go ahead and use an engineer. Once again, it's another Doodle. If you need some more of this juice, please subscribe to the channel. Notification gang, 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 you already know what it is. Go ahead and hashtag. But look, should you learn how to mix or should you go to an engineer? That is up to you. It depends on where your business is at. It depends on what you think would be the most beneficial to you. Only you know the answer to that question. But I think at some point in time, you are going to want to learn how to mix. It is part of your art form. It's a part of making beats. Like, like I always say in this life, you will not be full of life until you decide to live life to its fullest. Curtis King of CurtisKingBeats.com. I can't listen to you.
When I listen to you, it's a liability Cause you be mentally killing my inner energy So I'm concealing my feelings before you injure me I